for me, the name Heartbeat is 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 because we play to the heart beats. We are all born with our heartbeats, you know, and we and it's something that really unifies us as as human. I have a lot of friends who keep telling me stuff like, yeah, it's impossible, you know, peace can't be achieved. I'm asking them, how many Palestinians have you ever met? How many Palestinians did you ever talk with? How many Palestinians do you create something with? Every rehearsal we were meeting Heartbeat, I, I experience peace in real life. And when we are now touring in the US, we are equal, and we have peace. And, and peace is not only something that the governments will sign on a paper and that's it, we'll have peace. Peace can be created through people without any governments getting involved. Hey, yo. It's about not being ignorant and about opening your eyes to your impact and to what you are a part of. Uh, it took me a long time until I got into Harbi to feel that I have, I have effect on a conflict. The media and the governments took the conflict very far away from me. It was something only politicians could deal with. And through Heartbeat, I realized um, I can affect it just as them, exactly the same way. You know, in the last election, the prime minister had one vote exactly like me. from different backgrounds, we all come from different societies, from different beliefs. And I'm a Muslim and um, a lot of people, uh, some are Jewish, um, I actually don't know if anyone's Christian, some don't believe. But it's, it's, really, it's really magical how, how all of a sudden music becomes our faith. I've learned so much to listen. We all talk about listening and about being there, and but a lot of times we sit with people and we, they can talk for hours, and we can be we can hear them, but we're not actually listening to them. And I think in music, it's such an important tool, and it's something that I've learned to adopt, kind of, and like really calm down and listen, really listen. And I think when I started doing that, I became a better musician too. We uh, at Shabbat, we sometimes uh, sit together and uh, blast our, our food together. So that, that's how it goes in Heartbeat. It's not just, uh, not just in the religion and music and social life, we are equal in everything. For me, Heartbeat is uh, proof that, uh, that music can be a common language between different people from different cultures. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> we have one line which we're saying, there is no difference between Elohim and Allah, which in Hebrew they call it Elohim, and in Arabic it's Allah. That's something I, I really believe in. I really believe that most religions are based upon a very uh, similar idea, and it's the idea of appreciating life, and the idea of of knowing we are small and knowing the world is big, you know. And uh, I feel that in Heartbeat, we we respect the religion in, in the same way we respect life, because because it's a part of, of the human fabric. I take so much from everyone. They're all such amazing musicians and they inspire me so much, whether they're Israeli or Palestinian. It doesn't matter and we all, for us to be really a good band, we really give so much to each other and to the music. And I really, this happens a lot. We all tune each other's instruments and we all tune to each other as well. influenced by 
about the music, and then they're interested where the music comes from. Then they read about the music, or they ask us, and they understand that it comes from different, from a story, and from a reality that people live. And that spreads, and people hear about it, and that makes a change. The music does something that words can't. It, it influences people. And whether you like it or not, you're gonna you're gonna hum a song or two when you go back home. <laughs> we don't think we're we're going to change the world, but we think we can change maybe your mind and that and that dude's mind and that girl's mind. And we don't need a lot of people. I'm pretty sure that the major the majority of the world wants peace and wants to live happily ever after. And it's just about a couple of politicians who have a lot of ego and are just not willing to sit together and talk. But it's, it's up to all of us, it's up to, to everyone.